Going gluten-free is a trendy new diet for so many, but for others, it's actually not a choice. May marks Celiac Awareness Month, so chef and holistic nutritionist Kathy Smart joins us Yay. with more on getting gluten-free grains into your diet. Good morning, good Kathy. Morning. So good to see you. So good to see you. I'm so excited to be here. I did not know you were diagnosed with celiac disease. I've been diagnosed as a celiac since I was 12 years old, and everybody, I'm 37, so I know the different things that people should be eating when they're gluten-free. So okay. I have today for for us six grains. And my fun thing was, can Dina guess which one is uh -oh. gluten-free? So do you think that one is? What is that? So that is couscous. It is not gluten-free. It's made from wheat. Okay. Buckwheat, that is gluten-free. And a lot of people think that buckwheat has gluten in it, but it's actually a fruit seed from the rhubarb plant. Okay, so that's okay. Millet. Do you think I'm going to say it's gluten-free. Yes, so millet is a gluten-free grain, very, very good for you for digestion. Quinoa. For sure gluten-free. Yes, and yeah. high in protein to help stabilize the blood sugar. Steel cut oats. I'm going to say gluten-free. No. Nope. Oh. Uh, steel cut oats full of gluten, high yeah. in fiber, but lots of gluten, not good for a celiac. Okay. Spelt flakes. Yes, gluten-free. No, oh. and a lot of people think so. It's so really? close. Spelt. So spelt is an ancient grain. It's good for people that can tolerate gluten, but not for celiacs, not for a gluten-free individual. How do you know if you have a problem digesting? Great question. So I always say to people, if you have something with gluten in it and you feel tired, irritable, digestive issues, you should try going gluten-free. I always say to people, there's 7 billion people on Earth. There's 7 billion different different diets. So a lot of people, they're like, I ate gluten-free and I have rheumatoid arthritis and inflammation. I felt so much better. And go for it. But then other people are saying a lot of people are taking themselves off wheat That's and they right. shouldn't necessarily do that. So can it be harmful to you? Can you then create an intolerance if you cut it out for no real medical reason? No, you can't, especially if you go back to basics. So if you just eat whole foods like lentils, quinoa, peppers, you know, olive oil, nuts and seeds, proteins, those are all naturally gluten-free and they're all good for anyone, whether they're gluten intolerant or whether they're celiac. Okay, so let's make this delicious yeah. salad. This is right up my alley, by the way. I oh, love the look of this whole thing. Thank It's so easy. So we have a cup of lentils. So lentils are high in protein, which helps to stabilize your blood sugar. Great for celiacs because a lot of times celiacs have low energy. So they really want to focus on eating protein, whether from a plant-based or from animal. We've got quinoa. Again, amazing, delicious gluten-free grain, high in L-lysine, which is an amino acid to fight cold sores. Oh yeah? They always say too, if you pair green, uh, sorry, a grain rather with a bean, it's yes. all the better. It's like a power packing it's punch. Exactly. It's a complete protein. Yeah. It's a complete protein. So you want complete proteins. Again, it actually helps to increase your metabolism. Oh good. So we've got olive oil here and a little bit of oregano. Yeah. Olive oil, great for the heart, healthy monosaturated fat lemon juice add a little bit of lemon juice to this and we have chopped up red pepper did you know red pepper has more vitamin c than an orange you know what i did hear that because uh thanks to you kathy smart i think you told me that last time you were yep. here so great for the immune carrots system. carrots celery red pepper green uh green onion chop da, it up da, 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 la, la, la. And then balsamic vinegar. Super simple. This is what I use. This is a salad actually my mom taught me because my mom and I had to start inventing recipes when I was little because mm -hmm. there was nothing that was gluten free out there. That's another good point. You were hard pressed to find a lot of these alternative grains back oh then. Oh my gosh, Dina, we used to have to travel an hour and a half just to get a loaf of bread that tasted normal. But yeah. now it's amazing for anyone who's gluten intolerant or celiac. There's so much variety. Oftentimes in the frozen food section, if you yes. think a grocery store doesn't have it, yes. And you just take your piece out, put it in the toaster, and you're good to go. 100%. So, so something like this, I see you paired it on top of um, I, like a, a kale lettuce. Thing. I paired it on top of kale, and also, too, something I like to do is even slice some avocado, because avocado is great for gluten intolerant people or celiac, because they need healthy fat to help repair their intestines, and it will help give them more energy, because a lot of celiacs, they have a hard time digesting nutrients. So what do you mean by hard time digesting without getting too graphic if people are thinking yeah. I don't know maybe I how hard is it to digest is it gas it's is it severe bloating gas 
cramps and mineral deficiencies and vitamin deficiencies. So when they go to the doctor and the doctor's like, your B12 is low, your iron is low, I always say to people, you know what? Get tested for celiac disease. One in 133 people have it, and more oh. and more people are being diagnosed with celiac disease. That's higher than I thought. It's quite high. It And, and it's a lot of times people just don't know. They'll go years and years. It can take up to 20 years. Yeah. So go to your doctor, see if, because you're low in energy, your B12 is low and iron is low, go get tested. Okay. You'd be amazed. And do it in a healthy way because some people, of 100%. course, are eating things that are super high in fat and calories, not necessarily the good fats. That's right. In order to stay away from wheat. I, t I call it gluten-free garbage. Yeah. Right? So you want to really focus on whole foods, anything from nature, fresh fruits, nuts, seeds, vegetables. These are all naturally gluten-free and delicious. And eat it out of the big serving spoon <laughs> because this is exactly I my portion. I you. Thank You're you, so awesome. Mm. <laughs> Full recipe on Kathy and Celiac Awareness Month on breakfasttelevision.ca. Delish. Yay. We'll be back with more BT right after this. This is so good. I'm falling out of the ocean. Up in the sky.